<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Root Beer Review. My wife's back today. You're tired. I'm always it's tired. 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. 11.35. 11.30. <laughs> We're parents now, so... Yeah, I've got a little foster kid. <laughs> but that's one reason we're doing it late. So Main the, reason we're doing it late. Yeah, they're asleep. Um, but today we have one, a root beer. Oh, foster kid, a root beer. <laughs> <laughs> but this is one we haven't tried. And... We found it at Dollar Store. Yeah. This is... Root beer. <laughs> WBC Chicago style root beer and the lid it is WBC craft sodas out of Chicago, Illinois. Oh, look at that label there. But yeah, we have a new house like if we've mentioned and uh, still trying to figure out exactly where we want to film everything. But I think this looks pretty good. So it's an actual curtain, not just like paper in front of the window. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I don't have it frosted or frozen. We bought, we had this a couple days ago, but we didn't even think to put the mug in the freezer. We actually bought this exactly one week ago. <laughs> true, 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 true. Um, so and we're gonna go ahead. Yeah. By the way, we don't have any stores nearby, so. <laughs> but. So we live in. Middle this of is. It says soda with 100% real sugar. Caffeine free, gluten free. Uh, ooh, triple filtered, carbonated water, sugar, natural artificial flavor. Cool. Can we get to it? Yes. We will get to it. I think we've, this one is distributed by WIT Beverage Co. Oh, that's probably WBC is WIT Beverage Co. Um, out of Redding, California. We had one out of Reading, I think. We already popped it because she was checking to see if it was a twist off or not. There's a reason. I had a soda from the same store, from the same like shelf. That's and it right. was I think a it was even pop the top. same same brand or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but it was a pop top. But that was a, a vanilla cream soda or something like that. Dark vanilla cream soda. Oh, it smells root beer. It's a little bit of a light root beer smell. It smells like a root beer barrel. <laughs> the dad's root beer barrels? Yeah. Let's pour it out. Not that great of a head. It's a nice color bottle. Yeah. It's kind of frosting over it, looks like a little bit. Pretty good looking color. What? <laughs> what do it's you got? It's at the dollar store, I'm so scared <laughs> to try it. It's not bad. But that's, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it just smells, it smells like an overwhelming like root beer candy. Sorry, we have a window right there. It? This is root beer review 16. What the frick? The soda or the number? The soda. <laughs> And there's some weird taste in your mouth, like you, like, it's like if you drank root beer flavored cough syrup. Kind of. Like, like root beer flavored NyQuil. I was thinking, um, oh, it's the one that I always had. Sudafed? Diamond Tap. Oh, fine. Kind of has like a, like... I would always have to get the grape diamond tap, but replace the grape flavor with root beer. That's it. It kind of... I feel like I should be going to sleep and trying like to <laughs> breathe through my mouth because I have such a bad cold. Call back to an uh, episode with Carlos. Oh, yeah. 
I just edited that one yes, sir. <laughs> three days ago, something like that. Wow. <laughs> Oh man, we recorded that one over a year ago. Yep. Back before they moved and we moved. Well, they live in Canada and we live almost by Canada. We live um, half an hour away from Canada. But, I don't think it's bad root beer. I still feel like I'm like, okay, I took my night quilt, it's time to go to sleep now. <laughs> and that's how I sleep out when I have really stuffy in house. <laughs> and then... I go to sleep, and then, I don't know, I guess I feel better in the morning. I don't know. I mean, it is a root beer. It's not like the, um... The ginger, like the ginger root beer. Yeah, the, it was actually like ginger beer or ginger ale. Yeah, it was, um, Private Select or something like that. I say that that's not their best root beer, though. I'll take, like, mm. mug. It's kind of, like, on the level of barns for me. I'd say it's better than Barks for me, because I feel like this one would be consistent. It has a warning on it. You know, like, consistent taste all the time, whereas, like I mentioned, Barks, for me, sometimes it tastes like Coca-Cola. Other times it tastes like a good root beer. So, I never know with Barks. But this, I feel like, it'd be the same taste every single time. You stopped recording. Oh, I know. You're still recording. Sorry. It looked like it stopped recording. <laughs> Thing is, the bottle That's has okay. a warning label on it. Who wants to drink a root beer with a warning label? What's the warning, though? Um, contents under pressure. Cat may... <laughs> just about the cat blow <laughs> off and hit you in the face. I'm like, wow. How many times did that have to happen? Before they decided to, you know... Something on there. Saying, hey, the cat can hit you in the face. Do it the last little bit? No, uh, why not? Uh, that was two kind of weak, weak root beer burps. Again, cough syrup. It's kind of like they mix like the grape syrup in there. I'm going to say it's about a 3.5 to 4. Mm, 1 to 3. I'm not sure. It's better than Sparky's. It's better Never than... Never Sparky's. <laughs> we'll get to it. <laughs> um, and a couple of the other ones. But Other than the NW. It is um, a little bit lower than I was expecting. But the price for a dollar. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, I was, I, what, what I've been thinking for the last minute or two while we're talking doing this here. It's good. It is a root beer. So like if you're at a Dollar Tree and it's there and like they don't have anything else... <laughs> But if it's anything else, please get the other stuff. Yeah, I'd pick something over this, but if it's if I'm in the mood for root beer and it's there and yeah, I'll pay a dollar for it. It's worth it's what it's worth what I paid for it. One dollar. Unlike a shaving cream that he swears was mine in the dollar. Look at me talking about that in this video, but that's okay. That's anyway. But, so, did you say what you think it is? One to two. One to two. Okay. Cool. Um, but, it's a root beer. It's, we drank the whole it's thing. It's just root beer to me. There's, like, no special. It's value. not A&W. There's no defining A&W special quality. A&W always hits the spot. Other than the cough syrup. Oh, man. When I have a cold, maybe I'll drink this again. <laughs> but... Till then. Well, I don't see any medicines on here. But. You see. Let the actual nurse see. <laughs> Potassium. No, oh, that's, a, that's just a preservative. It's fine. Yeah. And citric acid. Citric acid! <laughs> we actually have a bag of citric acid that he has, like, you know, dipped his finger in and put it in his mouth because he's. It's really sour. I definitely suggest trying it at least once in your life. Good. Cool. But yeah, that is the WBC uh, root beer. Chicago style. I wonder how it would be with pizza. I think it might bring the quality of the root beer up a little bit. <laughs> we have some pretty but, good pizza out here. Yeah. That's the review. 
Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.